Okay. You can see if we if we pull up your hip line, shoulder line, you can see how right when you come out of leg lift, your your hips are coming around, which and your knees turning inward, which means you're leaning into your quad. So you're loading into your quad. You're also leaning forward. So when you an elite pitcher is going to load into his glutes, his his hip. If you see that hip line, it'll actually go the other way. It's the difference of, of loading like this or loading like this, right? When you sit back, your hip kind of rotates. So when you load into your quad, that means everything's going to start spinning. So if we look at your kinematic sequence, this is how things are peaking in your delivery. So same thing, the red is your hips, the green is your trunk, the blue is your glove. So notice how as you go to front foot strike and land, your hips start to peak just before your trunk, but then they shut off. So why do you think when you hit front foot strike right there, your hips shut off? Because the, 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 the speed stopped going up. It's because it ran out, there's no power. So, and the reason for that is when, when you came out of leg lift, you threw your leg out, pulled your glove across your body, and you just let your back leg follow that movement. So. Your power generators right now are your lift leg flying open and your gloves pulling across your body right there. Okay, it's, it, it's obviously so aggressive. Is look how open your foot is when you land. So your forces are to pull that way across your body. Okay, so the problem with that is, and you can see it here. See the blue is your glove. It's 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 your highest peaking force as you land is your glove, and that's the glove pulling across your body. The problem is, is when you're using your front side to spin around your body and pull, all this on the back side drags, right? So, it, and it's just trying to catch up. And it's also has all that centrifugal force that wants it to fly out, right? So as you go to release, it, it'll also drop your elbow down because it's all, see how far it's pulling across your body, right? And your elbow's catching up as it comes to here to release but when you hit release when you hit release you're you're supposed to be going this way you're facing the first base dugout and release okay because you pulled so hard but not only that your trunk is straight up and down okay so if you look at your trunk orientation it's Forward. It's 23 degrees in the lateral, forward. It's nine degrees forward. An elite pitcher at release would be 45 degrees forward. The trunk all the way forward. But your, your trunk is up because you spin. If I took something and I spin it, where do the forces go? It's like a tornado. Mm -hmm. It goes up. But if I take something and I like a whip and throw it forward, the forces go forward. So because your front side was pulling so hard, all, everything just went vertical and just started spinning like a tornado, right? Where it's hard on your arm is right here. When you release the pitch, it all those forces yank across your body, right? That's that right there is when it hits your trunk. Your trunk is like, I can't go any farther, and your arm's like, mm -hmm. and you're throwing the arm all the way across your body where the humerus is literally ready to be ripped out, and that 80 mile an hour force, boom, is hitting your, uh, your upper body. And that's what's wearing all that out back there. So the, the fix is just like the whip. If I'm holding a whip and I just keep doing this, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna fix it by going to the end and trying to push it forward. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop doing this. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have to go to the initial movement and we have to make the initial movement not the front side pulling. We can't use this to create the initial movement. We have to use the back side to create the movement because that delivers the linear power and then this will transfer that linear power and your trunk will go forward, not around. Your arm will turn over, your lats will help out, stabilize your scalp. And then all of a sudden your back is decelerating your arm and not just your little rotator cuff muscles that decelerate your arm. So that's the fix. It's learning how to not use this and learning how to use the only leg on the ground to use the ground to create forces towards the target so everything goes in that direction.